Hey guys, so in this one we're going to be talking about UDIMs in ZBrush. Now, UDIMs in ZBrush are a little bit counterintuitive. There's no like UDIM panel or anything or UDIM menu up here. Uh, it, they work essentially like any model with a single tile UV, uh, but there is some clever workarounds to be able to use them efficiently within the program and I'm going to go over them today. So if you watched my last couple videos on um, UV Master and UV Master Advanced, you'll have seen this model, this, this male beige mesh, and I did, I worked on a clone of it uh, to produce these UVs. So these are just in a single tile and if I flatten that, you can see that out. I also have, if you saw the video from several videos ago, um, I also have these, oop, they're pretty big, um, these three models, and I have Solo turned on, the, but there's three copies of this, and they're labeled each uh, with the number of tiles, or the number of uh, UDIMs they have and what they're used for. So this first one is, just a single tile and let me turn solo back on and flatten it so you guys can see so of course it's upside down because you know zbrush uh for whatever reason flips the uh flips the axis of your uvs which can be frustrating sometimes but if you can imagine this right side up i can actually you can actually go down here to uv map say adjust and flip vertically. Um, and flatten, flatten. Does that not work? Let's try that one more time. Flip vertically. And flatten. There you go. But that's fine for working, but remember if you are exporting these models out into another program, uh, it can get a little tricky because you have to remember if um, you flatten your model or not uh, because when you export out the UVs will then flip again. Uh, but anyway, tangent aside, so we have this single UV tile. I'm going to go down here and flip those one, one more time just so we're still all working upside down. We have this one which is Pretty much the standard way I set up a human body in a four tile. So if I flatten this out, you can see the head, the torso, the arms, and the feet. And then this is a, oops, let me unflatten that. And then this last one is a six tile with emphasis on just the face for like portraits. So uh, let me flatten that and the face is set up and the head is in five tiles and then the rest of the body is in a single tile over here so six tiles total so how do I use these within ZBrush well the best way is usually to assign uh, the UV or polygroups to the UVs. So if I come down here to auto groups, oh, well, let me turn on polygroup first and let me turn off check seams. So if I say auto group, it'll just group the entire model. If I say UV groups, it'll group by UV tile. Now if I hit shift and control, I can shift select each one of these tiles and then work on a single UDIM, or UDIM tile at a time. But what I usually do is I hit auto groups with UV and this does it per tile or or per, per shell I should say. So every single shell has its own polygroup and if you want to do this with symmetry I'm not sure if it works. No but you can just go through and manually do it by shift selecting and then hitting control W and then you'll have the same polygroup. 
but it's usually not a big deal to that um, if you have your UVs laid out uh, well you can just you know select both arms or select both legs and the feet and the bottom of the feet and then control select or control shift drag and then you have this tile separated now if you have a texture on your model so let's go back to this guy so right now the uh, the four tile UDM is uh, UV setup is on this guy and if I turn on polyframe he has some texture on him and if I go down here to texture map and I want to create new from polypaint with everything selected you'll see that every single tile came through on this one tile so all four tiles are overlaid here and it's, it's created a mess so this is where assigning those poly groups really comes in handy so let's so the, these are the uh, the four tile poly groups and you have to remember which tiles belong to what I could go back here to poly groups and just say UV groups and that'll make it a little bit easier so this way I have that first tile selected and then I say new from poly paint and that's giving me just what I want there then you would have to go through and manually do the rest so now I'm going to select this one, just the torso, turn that texture off, new from poly paint, and so on and so forth. The arms, new from poly paint, new from poly paint. And you'd have to either clone these or export these out, or I guess you'd have to clone and then export these out individually. Now, if you come up here to multi map exporter, It'll automatically, oh, that's gross. <laughs> It'll automatically recognize however many UDIMs you have and export them, um, you know, subsequently. So if I say texture from polypane or normal or displacement, it'll automatically create those uh, UDIM tiles for me. And let's see, file names, yeah. UV tile ID format. So this is how it's going to label each of those UDIMs. And you can change that to UUVV or UDIM style or your own custom version or off. But I usually just leave it UUVV. But most programs uh, will have an option box and you can select which way they're labeled. And after you have them exported, uh, you can always relabel them manually, just make sure they follow the, the exact file format and whatever program you're using should be able to recognize how many tiles belong to um, that set of UVs. Um, and one thing that I should mention uh, is sometimes Multimap Exporter will bug out and leave you especially if you're exporting like texture and displacement and normal and whatever else at the same time and you have lots of UDIMs sometimes it will bug out your subtool will be renamed output underscore zero and uh your it will essentially like ruin your file so always always make sure you save before you use multi-map exporter with UDIMs can't emphasize that enough because you could potentially lose a lot of work that way. Um, it'll also rescale it and then change the, uh, or translate it vertically or sometimes uh, when it switches to output zero. If you're having a lot of trouble with uh, multi-map exporter, you can always go back here, uh, this method down here, and export out these texture files by hand or uh, you know each individual UDIM file by hand. It takes a little bit longer um, similarly to how I did this texture map, you could do the normal map the exact same way um, just by selecting 
one tile at a time, create normal map. Might take a little while because I think there's HD geometry on this. Oh. Should not have clicked that because now I've frozen ZBrush. Well, you get the idea. Multi-map exporter will automatically uh, calculate how many UDIMs you have and export those files uh, in order based on whatever naming convention you set up in those settings. Uh, and if you are having trouble with... Oh, oh, it finished. It looks like it gave me a bit of a strange result. Huh. Well, if you're having trouble with uh, multi-map exporter, you can always create these maps individually by hand by assigning poly groups to each tile and then um, extracting the texture of the normal or displacement per tile and exporting those textures out. It takes a little bit longer, but it is a workaround if you are having trouble with the multi-map exporter. Likewise, you can also import uh, textures in. You could bring a, this texture in Let's say I, let's just take the face for example, new from poly paint, and then I'll clone this. Well, let's actually just do all of them. New from poly paint, clone. Which one am I missing? The torso. New from poly paint, clone. So good idea to always save a copy of these textures off. So if for whatever reason uh, I fill, oops, let's turn this texture off and I'll fill this object with white, I can go back, select one of these tiles, select the correct texture, and then make sure you're on your highest subdivision level, go up to poly paint, and then poly paint from texture. And then the texture's off, and you've got that. You might get have a little bit of trouble with your seams doing this, but oh, it actually looks like it bled over a little bit. But then you can go in, poly paint from texture. Oh, it actually looks like it covered those seams pretty well. So yeah, this is a good way to recover your texture if for whatever reason you deleted your poly paint within the program. Always good to have a copy saved off. So that's pretty much all of the ins and outs of working with UDIMs. Uh, I should also go over, before I go, transferring these UVs, because this can also be, this is a little bit more of an advanced technique, but uh, can be really useful. So under UV Master, you've got this copy UVs and paste UVs. So any map with, or any model with uh, multiple subdivisions, you cannot use UV master with and you have to work on a clone. But what you can do is if you saw that uh, previous video that I did working with UDIMs in Maya, I have three separate UDIMs set up and what you can do is say I wanted uh, for example this guy to have just a single UV tile so let me actually uh, just assign the rest of these poly paint from texture, just so he has the rest of these covered. Poly paint from texture. Sometimes the scale is weird within ZBrush. So this guy only has a single UV tile, so Let's say I want to copy these UVs, come back here to where this guy has the multiple UV tiles, or the multiple UDIMs, and then I say paste UVs, it's going to update to subdivision geometry. Takes a little bit. But now, when I come down here, new texture from poly paint, I'll have everything back on a single tile. And then I can clone this texture out, save this guy, 
uh, and then have a low lower res version. So then I can go back and switch between uh, UVs uh, for whatever I might need those that extra um, texture density for. All right, so went over a lot in this video. Uh, sorry if it was an overload of information, but how to work with the UDIMs, how to uh, check your or flatten out files with UDIMs, uh, exporting out those UDIMs manually and with multi-map exporter, workarounds for if a multi-map exporter uh, bugs out, um, and then transferring uh, different levels of UDIM tiles per single model. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, please leave me a like. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I went over in this video, um, let me know in the comments below. And um, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.